There's no place I'd rather be, and that's a fact. Hi, I'm Josh Richardson. I'm from Edmond, Oklahoma, and this is my hometown. This is Edmond, Oklahoma. Uh, this is my hometown, where I'm from. And uh, I'm really proud to be from there. Um, yeah, it's just right, out, right outside Oklahoma City. Oh, uh, that's my house that I lived in for like 10 years growing up. Yeah, I had a lot of good memories in there. Uh, I met a lot of my friends in that neighborhood. That driveway had a lot of shots put up on the goal in there. I actually put a chain net up on my goal so I would like make the neighbors mad when I'd be like shooting outside late at night because they used to always like hear my ball bouncing and they'd be like, go inside. And I'd be like, nope. And I'd put a chain net up. So like when I was swishing, it'd be like, whoosh, whoosh. This was Summit Middle School. I started playing football for the school here, actually. This is when I started, like, school sports. Ooh, ooh, Little League football. <laughs> that one, the one on the left was number 50. I don't know why it was number 50, it's so stupid. But, oh, my mom actually made me wear that neck brace because she did not want me to play football. But, like, where I grew up, like, everybody plays football, so, like, I had no choice. And, um, I remember that, like, that neck, I hated that neck brace, and I would like take it off on the sideline before every game because I thought it looked stupid. Oh, Brahms, Brahms ice cream. This was my favorite restaurant growing up. And oh, this is actually by my first house I lived in. I remember this, this is on Memorial. But uh, this is like me and my friend Chad, my best friend Chad used to like walk to this Brahms from my house is when our moms were at work or something. Every time I go back, I don't eat like, the whole day while I'm flying, I don't eat. So when I get there, I can just order a giant meal from there and go sit on the couch and eat it at home. And um, I really wish they were in more places than just Oklahoma, Texas, and Arkansas, but they're not, which is unfortunate. But maybe I'll try to like franchise one in Miami, actually, now that I think about it. That would be great. And I'd like be the number one customer at my own restaurant. Oh, Tinker Air Force Base. Um, this is where my mom worked uh, while I was growing up and I would go on base a lot with her. But yeah, my mom was in the Air Force for 25 years. She was a Lieutenant Colonel when she retired. Uh, that is the building she worked in. That is so crazy. You guys are so good with these pictures. But um, yeah, we used to call this building the Mile Long Building because it was like the hugest building we'd all ever seen when we were younger. Prospect Missionary Baptist Church. It's a church I grew up in. Um, my mother's actually the assistant pastor there just grew up there, like the whole church saw me grow up, like from when I was like four years old to now. This field, like, oh man, I almost like broke my leg on this field one time because we were playing football. We would play football on this field after church. Oh, Gold's Gym, I have one story. Oh, this is the actual one. I have one story from this Gold's Gym. The tornado warning came and my mom was at home by herself. And so uh, they, brought us all in this office. Like they made everybody stop lifting, playing basketball and everything. Brought us all in one office. And it was like, nobody moved. Like the tornado's right above us. Like nobody moved. And so I got up and I, I started walking out and they're like, grab me. And they're like, where are you going? What are you doing? I was like, I'm leaving. My mother's at home by herself. And so I made my boys get up with me and we left and we walked out and we looked up in the air and you can see like a giant funnel cloud right above the Gold's Gym. And if anybody knows what a funnel cloud is of a tornado, that's bad. It was really bad. And we could see it like forming right above us. And I got in my car and I like sped home just to make sure like, cause my mom was there by herself and I wasn't about to leave her at home by herself. This is Lake Hefner, uh, a place me and my dad used to go a lot when I was little and my sister, my older sister. Um, actually the trails, oh, bad memories, man. My dad used to like force us to ride our bikes around it. And it's like a six mile trail. And I used to dread it so much, but I would act like I liked it because he liked it. I actually took my first date there and we went and flew a kite actually at that lighthouse. It was actually at this lighthouse when I was flying a kite. And um, my dad was there too, which is weird. Like he was like a chaperone standing right next to us, but you know, still a date in my books. But uh, yeah, we, you know, we used to go there and do a lot of things, fly kites. Like you can't swim in there. Don't go swimming in there. Hey, thanks for taking time out to visit my hometown with me. I appreciate it. There is no place I'd rather be, and that's a fact.